Hello and welcome to Tank and AFV News. My name is Tom. You may be noticing there's just an image, still image up on the screen instead of me in front of the green screen or in front of my bookshelf at home. That's because here in Michigan in July it is 103 according to the heat index and I'm a sweaty mess. I don't want to be on camera right now so you don't get to stare at me this time. Uh, just look at these images which have to do with what I want to talk about a little bit. This has to do with episode 2, which I did on the Panzer 1 in the Tanks of World War II series. And I just wanted to address uh, something that somebody in the comments pointed out. So a user named uh, Bents Juarez, I'm not sure I'm saying that right. He posted uh, that neither Sturm Panzer 1 nor Bison was a valid name for the vehicle shown at the 22 minutes 15 seconds mark. I could imagine that there was a specific vehicle that was later named... Uh, such a name, but the Germans never called them like that. It's also true of the self-propelled 15-centimeter gun on the Panzer II chassis. The name was Schwer Infantry Geschultz 33 off Geschultzwagen 1 Ausfrung B, or shortly Sig 33 off GWIB. Uh, he goes on a little bit, as you can see. Um, I will let him know I'm actually working on the Panzer II video right now. It's already filmed. I just need to edit it. And don't worry, I call it by its proper name. He is completely right. Um, in the video, I uh, sort of tentatively say that I, I thought that Bison was uh, correct, and I shouldn't have, because if I had gone back and looked through my sources, I would have realized it wasn't. Um, now, this is something that's been, uh, is the image up there right now, you can see. That's a, a book from Schiffer publishing um, a while back. Uh, Bison gets thrown on, around a lot. It, it, I, I try to use the best sources I can, and if I had actually looked at my Panzer Tracks copy, um, by uh, Jensen Doyle, they specifically say that, from what they can tell, Bison was never an actual nickname for the vehicle. Um, as far as self-propelled guns, pretty much Grill, Hummel, and Vespa were the only ones that were official. So, yeah, I was wrong. So please, if you watch the video, I hope you watch this one too, because that detail is incorrect. Um, and, you know, it sort of brings up the point that I'm trying to do this with the best I can with secondary sources um, and just doing the research on a timeline to get each video out in a timely manner. I appreciate any uh, input as to things that are incorrect. This is a learning experience for me as I make these videos. Um, so feel free to point out things that you think are incorrect. Um, I'm more than willing to go back and, and evaluate that based on the information I have and uh, to correct it later on. Because like I said, I'm, I'm trying to strive for accuracy not for, um, you know, just sort of reputation or anything else. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.